Let's go to, we have somebody joining us now uh, from Bellevue who was involved in a rescue this afternoon. Uh, his name's Matt McIntyre. Matt, good yeah, evening. Here. What, what can you tell us, Matt? Well, um, I live in Green Hills with my parents, uh, George and Betty McIntyre. They live in River Plantation. And um, I, uh, I got a call from my mom this morning early saying there was starting to be some water on her carport. And they live in the section that's right down by the river. And so um, I told my wife I probably need to uh, head out there, see if I can get to them. It took me about two hours probably to get out there. It was a pretty rough drive from going up Hillsborough Road across Old Hickory. Um, all the creeks were over the road. When I got there, um, the road was closed. Uh, I guess Sawyer Bend was closed, or Sawyer Brown Road was closed, and the police department had a boat, and they were trying to get people out. Um, but my dad, Coach McIntyre, um, has MS and uh, he is in a bed on the first floor and he can't get out of his bed and they were and they were telling everybody to retreat upstairs well i knew he couldn't get up the stairs so um i kind of worked my way around and um, walked and swam till i got to him and um i got to their house and they were probably sitting in four feet of water when oh. i got there and um oh my yeah coach was just laying in his bed and he looked over at me because i knew you'd get to me <laughs> yeah, yeah, coach being your father yes sir so um, where'd he coach he was the head coach of Vanderbilt for about eight years. Legendary and a very sweet man. He uh, is. He's a, he's a sweet man. Matt, you're a good boy. Yeah, well, I try. <laughs> but uh, so when I got there, I realized I couldn't get them out, though, um, because I had to swim in, and I wasn't sure how I was going to be able to get them out. So I told him I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. So I went looking for a boat or a canoe. I couldn't find anything, um, a trash can, anything I could that would float. So I just said a quick prayer. I said, I need help. Um, God, I can't do it by myself. So I came back, and about that time, there's, um, as you know, it's more of an older community, and a young guy came down the hill and saying, hey, you need some help. And his name's uh, George Walker. He works for the Tennessee, and he was out taking pictures. And um, he swam in there with me, and we got my parents, my mom out, and then um, we went back in to get my dad, and we we're trying to figure out how to carry him out. But his mattress is an air mattress, and when we unhooked his mattress, the mattress floated. So oh, we were able, wow. to float him, we were able to float him out like on a raft and we were wow. able to get him out um, that way. So Fantastic. What are the odds? I actually know George. In fact, yeah. most of the people here at the station know George because he shoots pictures for the Tennessean, so way yeah. to go. And, and, you know, I just prayed for help, and a guy named George was coming to help me get my dad named George. I thought, you know, <laughs> I was like, what are That's the odds? That's a sign. So, um, but uh, when then we were able to get him up this big hill into someone else's house until the ambulance came. And now he's up at St. Thomas um, in the hospice unit there. Is he doing okay? Yeah, he is. Uh, you know, uh, we pulled, we got into that lady's house after we did all that. The lady that was so gracious, named Michelle, asked the coach, she said, would you like some water? And it was a big old grin on his face that I've had enough water today. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Matt, thanks so much for oh. sharing uh, your story of heroism and love with us tonight. Well, we had a lot of help. It wasn't just me. Well, good for you, and we're so glad the McIntyre family is safe tonight. Thank you. That's a good story. Nice to hear the, uh, the positive story.